Hello, and this is the video for the Transformers Dark of the Moon um, Cyberverse Commander Class Megatron. Um, now, as you can see, Megatron is in his um, tanker truck mode. Um, he doesn't have the um, cloth like the Voyager does on the back. Um, it's still pretty cool, though. Um, nice little representation. Um, these are roughly about... Uh, scout size, maybe a tiny bit smaller, or compare them to a Cyberverse Legion class mud flap here. So you can see he's pretty much kind of like a scout class figure. Um, so yeah. Uh, anyway, he's got nice detail. He's got Decepticon symbol there, exhausts, um, nice grill. Uh, it says Mac. Um, yeah, very nice. And it rolls very well as well. six wheels, six working wheels. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. So, to transform him, basically, you want to start by taking off. Oops. Basically, you want to start by taking this off the back. And we'll just pop that to one side for a minute. Um, and then you want to kind of unpeg it like that and then bring. this sort of section down might be better if you do it separately actually instead of trying to pull them both down together then split the legs rotate the low and rotate the knee um, there and just position them and then I'm going to come underneath, fold down the um, arms there, come up top, detach the um, front part, if you can, uh, let's just, there we go, oh, I thought we had it there, ah, there we go, and then pull those down. So I'll zoom out a bit more so you can see. Pull those down. Um, just bring the arms all the way down at the elbow like that. Fold the grill down. And they have Megatron in his robot mode. Very nice. Um, yeah, uh, really cool actually. Uh, it, Obviously, it doesn't have the cloak or anything, but, you know, it's a really nice representation of Megatron. Um, if you want to compare him, um, we'll compare him with um, Legion's Sideswipe, which is basically the size of a Legends class figure. Um, so you can see there, he is roughly a Scout-sized figure. You can see there. Um, now, this, uh, you just want to split it, fold out these pieces like so. And then these are his fusion cannons. And they do combine to form one huge fusion cannon, but I'm not going to do that now because um, it'll just take more time and it can be a bit fiddly. Um, so there are his fusion cannons. Very cool. Makes him kind of look. Um, it, 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 his arms do come a tiny bit too low, really. Kind of looks like his arms are really long and slightly, but you know, if you can lift him up like that, and it kind of looks all right. So, um, but I kind of like to have him drooping down at the side like that. Uh, it's up to you, really. Um, the face sculpt. Lift the camera. Um, very cool. Um, in fact, bear with me one second. Pop on this macro lens so you can see that face in its true detail. There's his face, damaged at the side. Um, it is a really nice little face sculpt for this figure, I have to admit, so, yeah. Um, 
bear with me another second. Um, so yeah, very very nice um, figure, um, very cool. Uh, just compare him with his Voyager class counterpart, so you can see. And um, pop in side so right there. Oops. So yeah, you can see um, it does resemble this guy, um, obviously without the hood, but well not the hood, the cape, um, but yeah it is a really cool figure and I recommend you get it because it is a nice um, representation of Megatron, so yeah pretty cool. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, um, yeah thanks for watching and please subscribe.